Hello my loves, welcome to Miss T Entertainment. Thank you so much for joining us. Now if you're new to this channel, please do feel at home. We appreciate having you here. Now before we go any further, please do me a favor, like this video and if you haven't, also please do subscribe. Now let us get into today's video without wasting any more of your time. This is Sonia and Matthew by the way if you didn't know and this is uh, Bongani and her husband if you didn't know and this is Matthew and Bongani. This topic has been trending guys. Let us get into it. A healthy relationship will never require you to sacrifice your friends, your dreams, or your dignity. Hashtag two years of bliss, 18 years of better. That was Sonia towards the end of last year celebrating their 18 years together. So now they're going 19 years strong. Okay, let's go on. This was the calm before the storm. It goes to show how much peace she actually had within herself and in her marriage. Wow, guys. This was the start for them February 2022. Every day is Valentine's Day in the both household. A tracker later revealed Bongani Mtombe Nimula Bongani had been picked up by Matthew Booth that morning from her house. Hectic. They spent the night in Polukwan and the following day he dropped her off at her house. I bet it was bliss because Matthew arrived home with an exquisite wrapped gift box, one of the perfumes being guilty, a wicked sense of humor Bongani has. Those are the pictures of the perfume. If you haven't been to Sonia's page, you can see for yourself. I no it. Sunny 10 July, Matthew leaves the house in the morning, stops to buy flowers, and goes to Bongani's house. The bank statement shows Fishimonga lunch was also enjoyed. He got home in the evening after having spent the entire day there. This morning, Bongani's husband had this to say to me. I remember I was in Maputo for a lecture at this time. Her mom called to say the boys are with her in Volcom. I was puzzled, wondering why the boys were there. Now I know. You know the danger. When you start putting two and two together, you're like, ah, that's why that happened. Oh my gosh, that's why I felt, oh my gosh, that's why he had said that or she said that. Oh, yo, guys, guys, if, if you have ever been cheated on, you know you know uh for august matthew picks up bongani in my car and they travel to Mpangin, a seven hour drive they spend three nights there this is supposed to be the booth trust initiative if she went with them to suss out future collaborations slash donations slash initiatives for Royal, then how come she hasn't been introduced to me considering I am a co-founder, trustee and director of the trust. Besides, the trust website has our past initiatives for anyone to peruse over. Moreover, she could have uh, sussed out from initiatives scheduled in Jobag. She then included snapshots of the routes that were taken, the destinations and everything before you cheat with your spouse's car. Please remember Matthew next time. Ne? And by the way, don't just don't cheat, man. Just be a good person. Don't cheat. Be a good human being, okay? This was scheduled for Nate's 18th birthday, 4th of November. It was changed after I gave Bongani an ultimatum that if Matthew misses our son's birthday celebration, I will do exactly what I'm doing now. Social media. Renee on my promise after meeting her husband this morning. Just imagine, guys. Imagine the shame. Like how much you had to beg yourself and lower yourself to beg your husband his mistress or your husband to change their dates or their trips with their mistress so that your husband can attend your son's celebration. Just imagine that shame, guys. I men will humble you. You know, men. Men will humble you, Mdasekai. They will humble you. Yo. Nakona, the date was just changed to the day after. Wow. Credit to my private investigator. He followed them uh, in Pulukwa, Napita Maritzberg, and Umhlanga. He felt that what I shared via email justified our meeting. We had coffee this morning and he gave his blessings for me to do this because he doesn't know what else to do. He tried different approaches over the last 10 years. As for Matthew Booth, he's untouchable he's a legend after all i was livid at first that my car was used for the empangeni trip but it turned out to be a blessing in disguise because my car app showed the exact address my research revealed her identity i then found her husband emailed him what i had at the time he later called me over 19 minutes tail convo breaking down her patterns 
slash history. The cheese cake. You see this one? This one takes the cup. How about this one? Yo! Two weeks ago, I noticed cheesecake ingredients in the fridge and the boys got excited. On the 3rd of November, the eve of Nate's birthday, Matthew bakes at night. I was fast asleep already. In the morning, we all got excited. Salvating over the cheesecake, thinking it was for Nate's birthday. Imagine our shock and surprise when it disappeared from our fridge. The entire cake, not even a taste, not three slices. Nyana. For me, N and N, we laughed and felt sorry for ourselves. Guys, imagine the audacity. The audacity of baking a cake in my house and taking it to give it to your side chick. I mean, what? Wow. Bongani's husband this morning to meet during our coffee meeting, she was in such a rush to leave on Friday, saying she had to pick up football equipment for the team building in PMB and Umhlanga. Me, after adding two and two together, that the cheesecake went along with the equipment. By the way, was the cheesecake when you arrived at your house? Klaus, yes. How do you know? It was delicious. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Me, do you mind if I get my cake courier back? I have a thing with my Tupperwares just in case your wife doesn't bring it back. Klaus, sure. Uh, he then gives me an access code. I follow him to his house, find uh, his helper washing it, take it, and then leave. Here is a video. So this is me going to pick up my mom's uh, tap away. I left the cake carrier on the garage floor where Matthew parks uh, at Royal at Virgin Active at Discovery. I believe you corroborated with Bongani, Matthew and the SA Footy Legends for these training sessions. Wonder why other founders of the NPC weren't involved. Me thinks you were simply used by Bongani to get free personal training sessions. Boy, oh boy, the amount of time she spends with her legend begs the question. When does she actually work? The question is directed to you, Royal. At Virgin and Discovery, being tagged on such posts and aligning yourself with such does not align with your ethos and vitality, physical and mental well-being. One thing about pictures, Matthew, no bongan, you will see it. You will look at them and then see it. Yo. Now they are sending me messages of concern, sending people to my house to check up on me. Let me save you energy, time, air time, and data. So, and this is Bulali for indoor. Not even for your legend. Imagine me, Sonia. I survived the ICU for a reason. Now, stop with the pretentious and capricious concerns. They make me ill. She must just hang in there considering how terminal ill that Eswekere is. Not too long till she gets her inheritance and hopefully she can start financially supporting her legend because no asset uh, with my name attached to it will be sold anytime soon. He himself mentioned his SS salary was not enough. Plenty salary that could stretch for someone living sensibly instead of keeping up appearances to impress groupies. Hashtag legends and groupies. I hope she sees this somehow considering she blocked me. She should stick to her filthy rich 70 something year old alleged sugar daddy because Matthew Booth isn't as wealthy as he might have portrayed. Peer pressure and keeping up with the Mutsepes has seen dipping his fingers into our son's education funds for years now. A meeting I had with our investment banker last week shocked me. I'll be damned. Bekezela ya masiba. Musadi utswara tipa kabu khaleng. Send too many women to their early graves. Not me. I was Sonia before both. Better recognize. Put some respect on my not so easy upbringing and surviving ICU. Everything I've experienced prepared me for this. I will survive this too. Katato yamudimo libadimo. Amen. Amen. If provoked, I will publish my not so PG findings, including those from my PI. However, that will only happen after exams. Yes, my PI has has been following the legend and his group since their last Bulukwane PMB and Umhlanga trips. And yes, her husband gave me his blessings during our coffee meeting this morning. Uh, 
Ukhatez, and yes, I recorded our phone call on Saturday and our entire meeting today. And yes, I made copies. I would have let this one slide too. Oh, Lord, the fact that she said this one slide too. That means there has been others before now. Until I realized my cake career Tupperware was at her house. You do not mess with the township girl and the tap. You just do not mess with the woman in the Tupperware period. It does not matter where she's from. Don't do that. Don't do it. Royal Haskunin DHV, did you do due diligence on why she got pushed out from her previous employee post? Dimning what it destroy a very special director you have. I warned you, but you chose to be Ikeva Yako Velcom. Nagitla Babari Yako Pimville Awe. Yo. So that means these people have spoken. Wow. If it's any consolation, the legend baked another cheesecake Friday night for Nate's birthday. As born, it was delicious, although a, a tad bit floppy because it was made late at night. Uh, a rush job. Moreover, that second cheesecake contributed to load shedding because the blender and oven worked over time. My apologies, Southie. You do not need to apologize, my darling, but we receive, we receive. She then closed it with a prayer. Uh, pray. Uh, Father, I know nothing is too hard for you. You can do anything. I have faith in you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, coming up is your tweets and reactions and comments, but I'm not really going to read those because, look here, I feel like I have done too much reading to last a whole month and i'm wearing glasses and my head is spinning but we're not there my biggest thing is guys about this thing casonia is breaking my heart because you can see that this is not the first time this man has done this to sonia she has just reached a point where she's like enough is enough this is where i draw the line i feel like at the like this time around he was more disrespectful i think that was one of the reasons because there's no way in hell that you're gonna bake cake in my whole house and i smell it and my kids smell it and we see it and the next thing in the morning there's no cake and you you dare take my tap away you dare take my tap away to your mistress like i mean like what kind of disrespect and the kids are not young. The youngest one is 14 and the oldest is 18. So my thing is they obviously did put two and two together as well. They know what's going on. They live in the same house. When your mother is unhappy, you say it. And now they know the reason why. Because while she was investigating, I'm sure they were also doing their own investigations and seeing, but okay, Papa no longer kisses mom when he leaves. He no longer does this. And you know what's funny is that I looked at the pictures of this man in Bongani. Like... The affection, guys, like how he looks at her. I was like, guys, it's always been there. Like it has always been there. It's always been there. And I'm like, what makes a married man do something like this? Why would you cheat publicly like this? For people to even see you and capture you and your mistress. We public platform and people have a problem. When Sonia brings it on a public platform, but like, why are you bringing your business to the public? Why aren't you dealing with these things private? Because the fact that you're bringing it to a public platform, it means that you're being paid and you haven't dealt with the situation. It affects you that much. Yeah, sure, it does affect her that much. She still loves this man. She didn't wake up one, one day and switch off her feelings. She still loves him. She's doing all of this because he broke her heart. He broke her heart. He violated. Is it violated? He didn't violate. What did he do? Um, uh, their wedding vows. What did he do? Uh, he betrayed and he destroyed. Yeah, he destroyed their wedding vows. And now we're going to question why she's coming to social media. One thing I want to tell you guys, you need to stop questioning people when they grieve, when they are in their grieving stages, where, when they are in their mourning stages, you need to question, you, you need to stop questioning how they do that because we, we deal with things differently. One person's way of dealing with something might be going to a club. Let them go to a club. They're not drinking addicts. They just want to drink for that moment. Let them be so that they can process things and deal with them. At their certain time, certain point when they're okay, they will realize if they made a mistake or not. But for the time being, just let people be. Please, I beg.
And if there's one thing I know about a woman who's been cheated on, guys, this is so sad because you bring it, you bring it to yourself. You ask yourself, uh, sorry, this was the tweet I was talking about, but the woman who said they bumped into Matthew and a side chick, yeah, and they actually thought it was Sonia because of how cozy and lovey dovey they were in a, in public, guys, in public. But anyways, I'm not there. I was at the point where I was, when you're a woman and your man cheats on you, I've been cheated on before you kind of wonder what did i do wrong what did i not have that this other woman had we understand and that is not nice it kind of messes up with your self-esteem big time it makes you uh start developing trust issues that maybe you didn't have before it's quite a really sad 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 thing but anyways guys here is bongani guys shamelessly this morning she posted this i'm like girl please shut up but okay here's a video kabongani I am loving Virgin Active's new campaign, so we are the ones who dare, we're the ones who dare to live, the ones who dare to move, the ones who dare to carry on under difficult circumstances, we are the ones who dare, so dare and uh, keep it moving, get to a Virgin Active near you today, um, and have a beautiful day, and so now it is on to, you know it, the next. Girl, you forgot to say dare to cheat anyways uh both families have kids so i really hope they're protecting these kids during this time other people are saying maybe they will run out of love nonetheless if you run out of love leave just leave divorce and uh don't involve other people in your mess okay be a good human being anyways do let me know my honeys what you think of this one down below i know it was quite a lot but we did need to get down to it uh and if you're still here i know that i love and appreciate you a lot uh do not leave without giving this video a thumbs up and yeah go crazy on this video comment like subscribe share it with as many people as you can and please do subscribe i know you guys are subscribing i appreciate it a lot thank you so much i'll see you all in my next upload bye a comment here to see association kulomba ka matthew booth uh zimbi and indus is tapu leo one get a new bag of jan goba ijan yona soze we back to be a cheat and go say it is a pekele it's like a lie ijan a pekele iya pekele wabuza ibuna kase ikeni wait ijan we want to say Sukiban on cover because the pegger are somewhere. So, you want to get a cheetah, you be pegger, you pegger, you pegger, you'll never know chain Punduzalo. And here, Bonaga, Lido Banyan, Matthew Agayojan, because Tina see baggy cakes. I hope you get me. I see baggy Tina say cake in Sasas. And then, what the bell in the sense of Comba, no Cosia Cola. I ask as we see a cola. He learned to ban a good stereotype that a band of a full jolla and a macosa because a mato de macosa, the cheetahs, the liars, the men and men. Near Bonag, Usoni, I was born in Sidinoba, Nabelungu, Nababa was a cheat. My bay lesson, Gindoba, in the young of Funum Cosa, who was such a cheat, if Fananoba, Ushik, Bear, who you cap, or who would think Bazi, who are in full. We are Fukanapa, we